It's a beautiful spring day and I was excited to take the Fujifilm Instax XQ6 out for a spin to take some landscape test shots as promised in my unboxing video. I have not shot on one of these instant film cameras in a long time, but I had 9 shots left in one of the film packs and I wanted to have them all count today. So off we go on a photo adventure. I'll show all 9 shots at the end of the video, so stick around and enjoy the ride. The first place I wanted to go was this eerie wooded area off this barely used back road that had some interesting trees. They look far creepier in low light and fog but I wanted to take a photo of them anyway to warm up. Landscape mode enabled and the first photo down. But while walking back to my bicycle, I saw an interesting slope in the road and before I knew it, I was laying down in the streets looking to frame the shot just right. Two shots down, seven to go. I rode around a bit and couldn't find anything interesting. After a short chat and a drink, I switched to my car and headed to the port to get a photo of the docked ferry. I had only been out less than an hour and I was already losing my blue sky and things were getting hazy. Across from the port, I snapped two shots of the ferry because of course I forgot again to put the camera in landscape mode for the first one so I took another to see if there was any noticeable difference. I like the first shot in auto a little better. From the port, I drove to the largest shrine on the island. I wanted to get a shot with the lines of the Tory gate. I took shots again comparing auto with landscape mode, but this time landscape mode was much better. Because walking around with Pokemon in your pocket is a perfectly normal thing to do, I whipped out the OG starter set of Charmander, Bulbasaur and Squirtle and this is where I noticed an issue. I am not sure if I am just failing to understand framing and I have tried with and without my glasses but the framing always seems off compared to what I am seeing in the camera uh, versus the printed photos. I will have to experiment a little more with my next set of photos. Now for the shots and my feeling about each. Let's just say the adventure started well but ended badly. The trees and road picks are by far the best, followed by one of the two ferry and shrine Tory gate picks. Of the three picks, I struggled to get framed right of my Pokemon friends, only one was barely usable. Leave any questions or tips in a comment below and like and subscribe for more videos of my hobbies and travels. Thank you for watching.